What's up guys, it's Andrew Bishop here with Michael Meehouse with a new episode of Meehouse No Sports. Now you might not recognize him, believe it or not, this is still Michael. It's just Michael 2.0, 3.0, maybe even 4.0. Good, he's got jokes. Yeah, yeah, I got jokes and Mike doesn't have a gym pass. So here we are with Meehouse No Sports uh, bringing you a, a couple topics uh, similar to how we used to do. Each episode we're going to try to do three main topics in the sports world, anywhere from boxing to Euro soccer, uh, to basketball, to baseball, to whatever. And we're going to have fun. We're going to rip on each other. At the same time, we still love each other, um, but there's going to be a lot of truth in our jokes. So uh, speaking of weight and uh, not so much obesity, but uh, kind of on the opposite side, let's talk about our first topic with uh, Floyd Money Mayweather. Money May! Money May, Mike. Why don't you introduce our viewers about this topic if they're well, not familiar with it. If you're not familiar, Money May is uh, in the old, the, what do they call it? The old, the old uh, penthouse. No, <laughs> it's in a pen. What do they call it though? The old uh, uh, prison. <laughs> Riker's Island. <laughs> they call it something else. We'll think of the term. Uh, okay, we'll it's settle called the old uh, we'll uh, jail. No, it's the old uh, the old slammer. He's, he's, he's in the old slammer he's for about slammer. ninety days or so. Well, uh, ninety day slammer. So uh, he was uh, battery against his girlfriend or his baby mama and was facing <laughs> a few years. Uh, yeah, he can hear that. But I only got 90, of course, or whatever. It's, it's weird. I, I think anyone on the streets who would face that charge, They're facing 5 to 10 to yeah, life. In, in my opinion, I think celebrities and athletes, they need to be held to a higher standard because they're in the public. When they get released on like a 90-day sentence, I think it makes me look down at that because it's like, why are they better? You know what I'm saying? If anything, they're the role model to us. They should serve a longer sentence. Do you agree? I couldn't agree more. All right. I'm glad we're on the <laughs> same page there. Well, anyway, Money May, um, is, he's in jail, and of course, he's not used to jail. He's used to the big life. Yeah. The five-star hotels, the million-dollar mansion, the... <laughs> the things will matter. The filet mignon. The filet mignon. Or mignon. <laughs> You dumb, bro. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so Money May is not happy in the old slammer, oh. and he's trying to get out. So what do you do? You lawyer up, which he already has, and uh, Money May asks for an early release to be on the uh, probation. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. So old judge there in Las Vegas says, Money May, I don't think so. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, 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 sir. <laughs> But, uh, so anyways, um, he has to get released because he's only getting, allegedly, allegedly, 800 calories. He's used to, uh, do you know the number? Was it 5,000? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty astronomical number. I mean, number. it's probably what you take in in the morning on breakfast. Well, well, no, what he has been used to when he's training. Right, he's I'm more, saying you're probably used to taking oh, three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He was he was joking again. Yeah, it's when, crazy how his physique and yours after taking all those calories. Ew. Ew. Show the six pack. No, no, no. Um, well, that'd be considered like nudity or pornography on YouTube. Yes, that would that would be considered <laughs> graphic content. Eighteen or older. I think someone could probably charge you for mooning just by showing your. <laughs> okay. okay. So go on. So he's so, used to take it in. So he's claimed that he's only getting about 800 calories a day, and so they file a motion to try to get him out. His lawyer does, and the judge comes back and says, "No, sir, mm -mm, you're staying here. You have the opportunity. You're just not eating all your food. No. Apparently, he's choosing what to eat, what not to eat. He has um, plenty of different food options to eat." And also, he's not taking advantage. They went through, he could do push-ups. He could do all kinds of different workouts. He gets an hour a day. Uh, he's also running door to say and claiming he runs five miles a day. And he wants to go run his five miles a day. Well, the, uh, I think the judge put it pretty, pretty logically. There's not geographically possible to run five miles in, in a right. jail without getting out. So, yeah. and long story short, Money May will be in there until August. I'm not sure what time. Now, do you think Kim and Pacquiao are going to go out of come August? You know what? Ever since the, the decision, I'm not talking about LeBron. We'll get to LeBron in a little bit. But the decision with Pacquiao and um, re recall his last name for Bradley, right? Um, Bradley. It, I, I think that's, that fight's postponed even more now. There's no way. With, with Money May and what's coming up with his physique, 
I mean, he wouldn't even. He's already scared. He's, That's already, right. he's already scared. He doesn't want. He's undefeated. Did right. you know that? Yeah. yeah. He's so a, he doesn't want to lose. And so now, is this whole physique thing legit, or is it just an excuse? And then now, now I think, when he gets out, it's, I think we'll see Bradley and Pacquiao rematch before we'll see. They're saying that they're going rematch in November. Well, I I think we'll definitely see that, and I I think if if we see Floyd, I don't think, I I think if we see Floyd fight Pacquiao, it won't be until next summer. I, I don't think it's happening. I, I don't. Floyd, I personally don't think it's happening. I'm saying if if we see it, it won't be at least. Floyd's scared, year. and uh, and you know he's he's scared, and it, it won't happen. That's plain and simple. The plain, story. Plain and simple. All right. Uh, what, what else you got for me? Second topic. Let's talk about the Open. Um, the one hundred twelfth Open, U.S. Open, America's Championship. America's Championship. I can say the Olympic Club in say San it. Francisco, California. California. Last uh, time it was there, who won for me? Lee Jansen. Lee Jansen. What did he finish? Even par. Unbelievable. Okay. The course. The course is tough on him, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think a lot of golf viewers, watchers, fans of golf were rooting for Woods. I, I think it would be ridiculous to say not that almost ninety percent of people wanted Woods to succeed. He's an entertainer. He, he, yeah, he's an entertainer, especially after at his win at the Memorial in Dublin, Ohio. Whose tournament is that? Jack. Nicholas. Nicholas. So wait, wait. Tell me what he said to Jack after Jack he Nicholas it. comes up to him after Tiger's got it. Got this it. This is typical Tiger. This is typical Tiger, and this is, I I love it. I love it. He comes up to Jack. Jack Nicholas comes up to Tiger. They meet. They talk, and uh, Jack Nicholas says something like, "Impressive shot on 16." Tiger looks at him and says, "You like that?" <laughs> like, so typical Eldrick. <laughs> typical Eldrick. Typical and so, uh, speak to me. So, a lot of people thought Furyk was going to win. I mean, Furyk, the proven, he's won a United States Open Championship. Right. Right. What year? 2003. I thought it was four, but 2003. Now, uh, explain, what do you think about that? I, I thought... Webb, come... <laughs> Well, let, let's talk about Jim Furyk. Okay. Right. So, Woods got out pretty early. We kind of... Cuckoo! There's always something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have fun in jail, pal. <laughs> Listen, if you don't know what we're talking about, the classic interruption. I think this is probably one of the best. This is one of the best. This is one Beats of the best. dude running out with his undies <laughs> and on the football field. Beats every streaker out there. This interruption. I put a link in the description of this video at the U.S. Open while old, old Mr. Simpson's giving his a uh, little what, uh, post, post his interview with Bob Costas. Yeah, who is one of the best. He's one of the best. One of the best. Not according to Matt Matt Fish. According to Matt Bishop, he's probably down in maybe top fifty. Anyway, so he gets interrupted by a fan. Was it a British flag on the head? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what it was. All I can see is that guy's face though. Anyway, hilarious. Hilarious. And <laughs> The Webb's response, I was kind of disappointed by saying, see you, have fun what in jail, did he say? pal, or something I like thought that. he said something about pet, so chicken, or general so, or pal chick. I don't think, I, maybe <laughs> later. Heck, funniest thing would have been, how clever would have been if Webb goes, man, I thought my caddy was celebrated. <laughs> like, play it cool well, like that. Yeah, but, but anyway. Yeah, not, not that quick would. But it was, uh, it was an interesting tournament, to say the least. Uh, we'll kind of wrap up that subject. I think a lot of people wanted Tiger to win. I think even going into Sunday, he still had that chance. Um, you even thought maybe he was going to pull it out. Uh, but did I even make the comment bet you he wins Saturday yeah, night? I think I think Niehaus did. Now, I, now Niehaus maybe doesn't know sports. No, I I think that's just exaggerated to say that. You but still let's, know sports. let's just take Jim Furyk though, proven champion. Um, guy's over forty years old. He's proven he can do it on tour. Um, looked like he had that thing wrapped up. He did. It was kind of unfortunate to see how it went down. Yeah, he kind of thing unfolded right before his eyes. But let's not take it away from what. No, not at all. Can't, and Grant McDowell had that putt on 18. Yeah. That was a difficult course. Played very tough. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. But it looked like a bad putt, though. But <laughs> Come on. Give Grant some credit. I'll give him a little Give bit. old Grant, Keebler Grant Cracker some credit. I'll give Keebler some credit. All right, last so, topic we have for you tonight. Game. Hey, congratulations to Webb. Congratulations, Webby. Webby. Do you know where Webby went to college? I do. Where? Not. I do not know where he went to Wake college. Wake Forest. Wake Forest. That's in what state? That's in North Carolina. All right. Winston, so. Winston, <laughs> Salem. Winston, Winston, Winston Salem. Winston Salem. Winston Salem. Winston Salem. Winston Salem. No, he was a. Uh, he's guess how old he is. Uh, twenty six today. Is it his birthday today? No, he's twenty six yesterday. He's twenty six tomorrow. Third topic. Heat game four tomorrow night in. Miami, South who, Beach. Who, who we're taking our town. We're taking our town to South Beach. Who wins tomorrow night? Thunder. <laughs> That's a ridiculous notion. Be, 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 explain. 
they're thundershock. They're, they are out of it. The Thunder, the Heat will win in five. The Thunder is done. I, I even say Heat win by double digits tomorrow night. Why, why do the Thunder win? Why do the Thunder win? They got two punches to the midsection after losing two games in a row. One at home, this other one at the, at the Miami Arena. You're a mess. It's American Airlines Arena. Right, but, it's, but some people call it Miami Arena. Yeah, I've never heard that. Yeah, well, on. it's me and my friends. But I'm telling you, why, why do the Thunder win? Okay, let me tell you why the Thunder win. Okay, the Thunder win because... <laughs> you sound have, convincing. Have you heard of Kevin Durant? I've heard of him, but that's all I've heard of with the Thunder. You have Harden and Westbrook. Okay, let me tell you why they won. Okay, Durant got in foul trouble. Mm -hmm. Who's to say he won again? Okay. It's in Miami. You're making points now. And I think it is kind of fixed. I mean, Jim Rome. <laughs> I mean, Jim Rome has... What did Rome say? Rome asked Commissioner Stern about the fixation of the lottery. What he said? Do you still, are you still being your wife? Oh, that's right. I did read that. Yeah, a classic line. Are you still beating your wife? Depending on how you answer that, if you say yes, then you say, yeah, knock it off. If you say no, then you say, hey, why'd you do it in the first place? So, no, in all seriousness, um, obviously I'm not the Chris Broussard, the Irvin Johnson of, of being analytical, and, you know. I think it's analytical. <laughs> I think it's one word, not two. <laughs> what did I say, analytical? I think you said analytical. Like Anna Kornikova, but Anna... Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay, anyways. Yeah. But, um, no, real quick, I just feel like Durant won't get in foul trouble. Scotty Brooks, one of the best head coaches in the association, will use him, utilize him, and, and make sure he's not in situations to get foul trouble. And, I mean, it's a pivotal game for him. They lose, go down 3-1, have one more game in Miami. It's elimination. Uh, win, 2-2. Two -two. I, I it's just a must win for the Thunder. I agree with you. I think that everything is on the Thunder to win tomorrow night. Oh, and they I, can't lose. They it, cannot if they lose. lose tomorrow night. We both do agree. Heat winning five. If the Thunder oh, lose no, no question night, about okay. it. Now, here's my thing. Durant needs this win. He he needs it. But I think LeBron needs it more. As far as oh, winning. Durant. If Durant doesn't win a championship this year, he you mean the single game or right? Yeah. I think, I think what's going to happen is if Durant loses, talked to my brother-in-law yesterday, if Durant loses and the Heat lose out, or the Heat win out, they'll say, oh, it's all right, they'll be, Oklahoma City will be there next year. It, it wasn't this year for him. There's, he's still young. Whereas if LeBron loses... Oh, no question. Great point. If, if LeBron loses, here it is. Oh, do you still have the big three? That's two years in a row. You see the commercials come back, the decision. You see everything just kind of... No question about it. I mean, and ultimately, there's not a big target on Kevin Durant's back. Not I mean, yet. Not yet. I think there will be, if he doesn't win a ring in, I'd say, two or three years, I think you put other support around him. I think Harden, Durant, Westbrook, I, and Ibaka, I think those guys can win a national title. I don't think it's going to be this year. And I honestly don't think it's going to be next year. It's That's a loaded just question. I mean, if they lose tomorrow night, you all, but, you, know, you all but count the Thunder out, right? I, mean, I agree. With yeah. one more game in my... Because yeah. they do the 2-3-2 format now. Right, right. Not the 2-2, two, 1-1. Two, one, um, one, right, four. yeah. So if they lose, game five would be in Miami. There's not a chance that, that the Thunder win that game. Not at all. Um... Man, it's good to be back. It's good, good to, to be see back. You. I think that's it, it for our show. Um, and, uh, wait, well, do you have one other thing to add? I was going to see, did you want to get a sandwich? You look hungry. What else you got for me? Uh, I, hey, me house does no sports. No, don't do this. Me house does no sports, oh but it's time to go. Gosh, don't walk up. Don't walk away. Please don't. Why'd you do that? Mike, why? <laughs> why? Why did you do that? You're so fat every time.